Welcome to the first Kids Couch episode. Yay! What we're going to be focusing on in this session is the body of Christ. Let's go have a look. Different parts of an organism um, that allows it to function. A body is a bunch of these cool things, bones and muscles and veins and all these funny things in my eyes. And um, they work together to keep me alive. The brain. Be the eyes, because uh, then I can see everything. Yeah. The legs. There were some interesting answers to those questions. Well, what body part would you want to be? And why? Would you want to be the shoulders? Maybe the elbows? The nose? Whatever you choose, I'm sure it's an interesting choice. So, now I went and asked them another question about what they think the body of Christ is. And if God has spoken to them about the body of Christ and how they need to be part of that body, let's hear what they have to say about that. The body of Christ is all of us Christians together. So, um, I think it's uh, it's yeah as wide as as anyone who Jesus accepted, um, who, who accepted Jesus. Um, yeah, so that that's all of us. Uh, all the followers and uh, all the yeah different people in ministry, um, all serving one God. It's the church and and all of the people inside of the church, all of us that believe in Jesus Christ, all of us together, all over the world forms the body of Christ. The body of Christ is like our body. It has a bunch of parts that are very important and. Not one part is less important. So just as my ears can't do what my eyes do, I still need both to be able to hear and to see. A group of people come together and they all have different talents and different purposes and together they, they support one another. So where the one is weak, the other one is strong. And in that way, um, we, we create a, a strong community and a strong group of people that um, move towards the same goal. I was asking God, why is it that when one, can, when one province is under lockdown or is a hotspot, the whole country is forced to go into level four? And then he reminded me of a scripture that we learn, which says, if one part suffers, every part suffers with it. And if one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. So just as one part is currently in a hot, is a hot spot in the danger for COVID, we all are supporting one another by staying safe. And that's how God's body works, is that we try and support one another and we don't leave someone behind. Okay, a cool revelation that God gave me regarding the body of Christ is that it's okay to be different that it's uh, okay to be yourself, um, that it actually um, is a good thing if you can be unique and if you can live out your talents uh, to support the body. And I think a lot of times we want to compare ourselves to other people and be like them, but then we're actually missing out on the destiny and the plans that God has for us. Um, so that really motivated me to be myself. And I had such a freedom uh, when I could start being myself, being myself and uh, just enjoy life as I, as God created me and also follow my own interest uh, do fun things that I like to do not just do things that I see others do and try to be someone um, but be myself and enjoy it uh, even though like you get the toe and you get the arm and the finger not not all of the body parts have the same function they all have different functions and uh, they all operate for the body that's the same thing with um, with people in ministry um, you have pastors, you have prophets, you have people in the worship team, you have people that's just saying, that's just greeting people on a Sunday, 
if the people working in the coffee shop or the people serving and um, even though we're all serving in different areas and we're not really functioning the same as some of the main people like the pastors we're all serving one god and we're all serving the body how different people play different roles in the church and that creates that that oneness that creates the church so it definitely definitely in my opinion has has to do with um, everyone playing their role in, in, in the church. So Ephesians 4 verse 16 says in the NIV, From him, which is Christ, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. So what that means for us is that each of us have something special for us that we can do or that we're good at and we mustn't compare ourselves that's the big thing we mustn't compare ourselves to our friend next to us or our brother or our sister or even our parents we need to know what god has made us good at and we need to be confident and do that and not worry about am i doing it as good as this person or am i better than this person or no they're better than me no we need to take what god has given us and be confident in it stand with it and do it because if the nose decides that it's not going to smell but it wants to taste rather then our body won't be able to smell and if our eyes decided that they wanted to hear then we wouldn't be able to see so whatever you're good at take that and be confident about it and don't worry about whether someone else can do it better just be you, be who God has made you to be, because we as the body of Christ need you and what you have. I hope you learned a lot in this episode. And remember, don't compare. We each have our part to play. Until next time. Bye.